Good morning. Today we're going to work on that 05 Sportster that we did the 48 slow jet and the 90 main jet and the two turns on the air fuel screw. What I want to do today is a fine tune. So with that, we're going to go with shims on the vacuum slide. These are on the vacuum slides, these needles. You can manipulate them with a few washers or sh right after idle. As that needle opens up, there'll be a little more fuel and they'll make the bike run a little bit stronger in that. All right, let's remove our breather. Quarter inch Allen head. I'll pull this off. I got some cardboard on the floor. Lay this down carefully. Remove the spacer. Three-eight socket. Let's move the air filter. You see, this is a probably a Screaming Eagle intake. You see, there's no plate. It's open air breather, and that helps. And that's why you have to do these adjustments. This is what makes it a little difficult to tune. And that's why we ran the 48 pilot jet. And that gave us the fuel we needed so it didn't run lean. These bikes run lean from the factory because of the EPA and pollution laws. So we just make the adjustments. And uh, it turns out real nice. The last adjustment is washers under that slide needle. Makes a big difference. You're gonna like it. And costs almost nothing. Have any problems finding those washers? Just leave it in the comments and I'll send you the link to where to get them. Makes a huge difference. Once you do it, you will do it again. To any sports, to any carbureted bike that you have. All right, 532nd Allen, we'll pull these two, put them aside. Nice and gentle, we don't want no problems. This is a 916. Okay, now what we want to do is remove this top cap. There's our slide spring, our slide, and our needle. What we will do is just move it, rock it. Let's be careful, there's four Phillips heads. I'm doing this without removing the choke. Let's see if we can get away with it. Be careful. That's one, two. Okay, I got this little right angle. Let's get that right in there. This you can get at Home Depot. Be utmost careful. Now, you have your intake, which is right there. What I'm going to do is right now is slide a rag in that hole. So now, Nothing can fall into that intake and cause you a lot of problems. So let's take these.
now with this long Phillips head, which you should have if you're into motorcycles. Go for that back right corner. And that's why I put this rag here. In case that screw ever popped out, it cannot fall into your intake and cause you a great deal of heartache. Utmost important, the red rag stuffed into that intake. I'm gonna take this one out first. Okay, there's that screw. I'm gonna put that aside. Now you're gonna see there's another screw, which is right here. This holds your linkage to your throttle cable. What we want to do is loosen this so we can move the cap. This is us right here. Squarely. Leave one thread so it goes on easy later. That and this holds your linkage together. Now let's take that back screw. All right, I'm gonna put that aside. I'm gonna take it out with my hand. All right, I got the two. Now what's left is put your hand on here. This is spring loaded. Undo the front one. A lot of times I'll disconnect the choke. It's easy enough, but I know on this bike, I've taken it apart a few times, that you can work it. Just be careful, don't pull. If you gotta pull, disconnect what needs to be disconnected. But as you see, I did not have to disconnect it. But I really wanna show you, right here, this is an aftermarket chrome cover. Right here, you're gonna see, you will have a little metal spacer because the stock a vinyl so they put a piece of metal in there so when you tighten down your linkage it could get rock solid because you got the metal washer now watch this you know what we're gonna have to undo that all the way this one's a little bit of a problem watch now that will slide away it could just rotate back nice and easy it's spring-loaded Keep conscious. Now here's our slide. This comes right out. Be conscious the way it goes in. Now you can't put it in no other way. There's his dot. If you try to put it in this way, it will not line up and do its job. Can't be done. So it can only go in one way. With the dots facing out. You will see this dot here. And it has to line up with your main jet. So watch. As you see, right there, the needle lines up. I'm gonna reposition the camera so I can show. All right, hopefully this is a better shot. You will see a dimple right there. This will slide right up, can only go in one way. That's it. Now you see this needle slides into your main jet office. And you will see that when you remove that jet, and that's your 190 or your 185, you will see this needle sits in here, and this is off idle and mid-range, and as it opens up vacuum operated, it becomes fully open. So it's idle, off idle, then the needle kicks in, and then the main jet operates 100%. Like I said, there's idle. There's the air gas screw for off idle, which is your pilot jet. This needle goes into your main jet offices. And your main jet, we switch to a 185 or a 190 on these 1200s. Now with a few washes, this will change your fuel profile. By putting two or three washes, I like three washes under the needle. Now, 
this will give you a stronger 1500 RPMs to 2500 RPMs performance. But you play with it and you see what you like. With that, we just turn it upside down. With that, just push your needle up. Remember the way this goes. This is the spring seat. Okay, so we got that. We put that aside. Here's our needle. What we're gonna do, I like to put three washers. I find that's my best number. Now with a high performance needle, you'll see there'll be a C-clip and you can put the C-clip in any four or five different spots. That's their uh, Screaming Eagle kit, their high performance needle. You could do the same with what they call carburetor shims or washers. Let me show you these washers now. Now that's what the washers look like. Usually I'll start off with four, see how the bike rides. Then I'll go down to three, two, and uh, each bike's a little different, but four or three, you will notice a nice difference. Do not do one, do not do two. Truly, start with four. Usually I end up with three. Sometimes I stay with the four, and we see what it does. With this, the way she runs and everything, she runs real nice. I'm gonna try three. You gotta remember, this will affect gas mileage too. All right, with that, we take our needle. One, you see these are little washers. Two. And that's three. Turn this upside down, feed it in there. Now you have it. There you go. Now this piece here is what captures your spring. You know I rebuilt this carburetor recently. Right now this is fine tuning. There's your holes. The diaphragm's down, the needle's in place. This catches the spring. Let's feed that in there, your dot facing out. Now you see your needle right there. Got to go into that offices of the main jet. Now that's all good. Now, you see the way we have that seated. Everything's perfect. Now we got the spring. Spring back in. This is an aftermarket one. If you had an OEM black vinyl, this hole that is where your linkage is, you will have a spacer that looks totally like where'd that come from? Because a lot of times when you take it apart, it falls on the floor because you don't see it. Okay, so with that, we'll take this spring, line it up nice and careful. You'll feel it. Okay, hand start the screw. Okay, always have your finger on here because it's spring loaded with your long screwdriver, with your long Phillips head. Now that's all safe. Now remember that small screw we took off. This went on to the linkage. This is important. This will make sure your linkage, you'll see it can get binded. Look at it. There we go. Take this and just hand start it. And that's why we have that red rag in case this ever dropped. You get hurt. You get hurt quick. What I'm going to do is just tighten this up. Now we have this screw here. We're going to hand do it. 
goes through the linkage. Hopefully you can see this. This is a great tool to have, this little right angle Phillips head. Uh, you can buy a Harbor Freight. It's a great tool, it comes in real handy. I got a little Phillips that's ground down. You can put all sorts of bits in there that it comes with. So with that, nice. Now the last screw, there's only four of them. Start it by hand. The nice thing with this long Phillips is you could just tilt this a little bit. A lot of people, they'll move the, a lot of people, they'll take the tank off, they'll take the carburetor and make this into a big ordeal. I don't know if you want to do that. You want to tune it up, see, be patient with it. And you might have to take this apart a few times. This is simple enough. And you don't have to wrench these. That diaphragm seals everything up, that vacuum CV carburetor. If you're wrenching it, trust me, that's too much. There's no need for it. Now we have this all back together. Let's make sure the throttle works. Check it because a lot of times this will bind up. You'll put everything back together and you can't turn this. That is why. Okay, with that, now we're going to remove our red cloth. We're going to put this back on. Seat it to your intake. A lot of times, if you buy the carburetor rebuild kit, install the new one. It makes a difference on the bike with miles. Take your time. You'll know when you got it, you'll feel it. Now with that, let's line this up. Everything looks nice, the hose is nice. Now we didn't, we didn't really touch much. We really didn't. What I'm gonna do, may, turn the key on. Okay. I'm gonna hold this and try to start it. Okay, neutral. Gas works. I hit the run switch. No joke. Make sure you got your hand on that carburetor or it will push it off. That sounded real nice. Now we don't see no gas leaking. Always check your hose. That's the first indication of a carburetor problem. Gas will come out this overflow. Everything is beautiful. Like I said, we didn't take that apart, but that is the first sign that you have a problem. The overflow will work, and it will spit out gas onto the floor. Like I said, we cleaned this. We did everything we needed to do to it. What we're going to do is uh, put it back together, and then we'll start it again. Let me get the plate on it. All right, we'll just start that up. Just get a thread. Don't get crazy. All right, there's that. These high performance plates, they're threaded, as you can see. So now line that carburetor up and get the bottom one. The nice thing is the gaskets have been installed on the back of these plates. So that makes that pretty nice. All right, now we got these lined up. And you could do this first, then the breather bolts. Whichever you choose.
you're gonna see it makes a big difference. Those washers start off with four, start four, and your gas mileage gets affected. Three is a happy medium. I ended up going with four. I want to see how it rides out. I have found three to be my common place. I've done a lot of these. I bought the washers. I bought on. I bought the washers on eBay. Fifty of them for like ten bucks. Like I said, if you have any problems, just in the comments, I'll send you the link. You can buy them by ten packs, four packs. If you do a little search. They're relatively cheap. Okay, let's not get crazy. All right, and this really is a fine tune for your motorcycle. You will notice a difference at off idle acceleration. I mean, really, you will be happy. This will roll out real nice. Don't forget these breathing tubes. Like I said, this is a high performance install, this breather. I'm going to start it one more time. Key on. Make sure she's in neutral. There's no choke. It's not like it's been warmed up. All right, with that, I want to put the breather on. These aren't bad setups. I myself don't like to oil it. I clean them up nice, nice, and uh, my oil level is very important because this will get all fouled up. I like it just above the halfway to three-quarter mark on the stick. That's what I like. With that, we snug this up. And this will change your rollout on your sports stuff. No doubt. Works on 883s, works on all carbureted CV poly. Put this back, I'll space it as an arrow. Let us know what you think. Take your time. And fine tuning your motorcycle is very rewarding. I love it. Clean any fingerprints so it don't stain. Like I said, always be conscious of that overflow line for the gas. Throttle works. Key on. That's quite nice. It made a big difference putting the choke on. We'll try it again. Choke is on. The bike is cold. All right. She is in neutral. Let me know what you think. 
and I really appreciate your support. The shims is definitely a fine tune for your acceleration of your motorcycle in mid-range. Right off idle, you will feel the difference on the way this bike will roll out. And if you have any questions, just ask. Thumbs up, leave a comment, ride safe, and have a great day. Thank you for your support.